I'm Bonnie McIsaac, President of the Board of Directors of the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra. Today, we are honored and proud to recognize the incredible work of the nurses, doctors, and staff at Lowell General Hospital. Their work is vital. The Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra cannot think of a better use of our talents and energy during this time than by paying tribute to their heroic work. In our tribute, we also acknowledge the work of the first responders and essential workers in our community. The title of our tribute, More Than Self, is a phrase taken from the poem America the Beautiful, written by Catherine Lee Bates. For months, nurses, doctors, and hospital staff have been working long hours with limited resources to treat patients stricken with COVID-19. They may not consider themselves heroes, but we do. They have had to make personal sacrifices, separating themselves from their families, unable to be with the ones they love. They are apart from their families so that they can take care of our families. They are not thinking of themselves. They are selfless, self-sacrificing, self-denying, extraordinary people. They are more than self. With that in mind, we begin our tribute to Lowell General Hospital with the Star Spangled Banner performed by pianist Maxine Park, the winner of our 2020 Jean Selander Memorial Concerto Competition. Hello, I'm Thomas Kosila, Music Director of the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra. We're so grateful that you've joined us for this tribute. I'm here in Falmouth, Massachusetts, the birthplace of Catherine Lee Bates, whose poem America became the lyrics to America the Beautiful. To me, Catherine Lee Bates is an inspirational New Englander at a time when women having any role in society outside the home was seen as unnatural. Bates attended Wellesley College just one year after it opened. She then went on to work as a professor there for 45 years. She was also a social activist, helping to organize a settlement home for immigrant workers in Boston. Bates wrote her poem, America, shortly after overcoming her own suicidal depression, as well as during the severe economic downturn of 1893. Her words about the beauty of our lands, as well as an aspirational vision of this country with phrases like thine alabaster city's gleam, were later set to Samuel Ward's tune, Materna, to become America the Beautiful as we know it today. Throughout our program, each verse of America the Beautiful will be introduced by a musician from the orchestra with gratitude and a dedication. For this performance, I'm honored to feature soprano Catherine Sarakis 
and Illumination Opera. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Zun and I'm the personnel manager of the LPL. In addition to being a part of this amazing group of musicians, I also have the pleasure of knowing a lot of hardworking and dedicated frontline workers at a food manufacturing facility right here in Lowe. This group of workers among a larger number of frontline workers from farm to food production to the stores and restaurants has been dedicating a lot of their time ensuring that everyone has safe quality food to eat. On behalf of the orchestra, I would like to dedicate this verse of America the Beautiful to all the essential workers who have been working during this pandemic. We want to say thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts for everyone's hard work and dedication. Hi, I'm Congresswoman Lori Trahan. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you at Lowell General, doctors, nurses, and staff, for your tireless dedication and selfless commitment to our community during our greatest time of need. Each of you have worked so hard and under an incredible amount of stress over the past few months, and I know I speak for everyone in our community when I say we owe you a tremendous amount of gratitude. Like many, I've heard the stories of your long, challenging nights, your own anxiety and mental health as you helped save lives and then returned home to a worried family, and your incredible compassion that kept your patients, their families, and your colleagues going through times never before imagined. Although we are not yet out of the woods, it's important that you know just how much we appreciate you. Thank you again for your incredible service to our community. You're truly heroes. May you find time to restore yourself and spend time with your loved ones, please. Stay safe and stay well. Florence Beatrice Smith Price was born in 1887 in Little Rock, Arkansas. I first heard Miss Price's music around 2015 uh, in a performance of her first string quartet. And when I finally took the time to look at her bio, I was pretty struck because a lot of these institutions overlap with my experience, uh, like the Chicago Musical College, the University of Chicago, the New England Conservatory of Music and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. These are all places where I've been fortunate to either work or study. And for me, it's quite difficult, not, I'd say not possible, to contemplate her experiences there um, approximately a century ago as an African-American woman. I think she's incredible. I really love her voice. I love her music. And I'm so happy that we get to share some of it with you today. I wanted to show you just a feature of the piece. Um, there's an ostinato. It just means repeated pattern, as you can hear, just these two notes. And they're featured almost throughout the entire movement. And to me, Florence is trying to tell us something about persistence, uh, something that maybe we can hang on to and use 
in this time. So here's the opening. I just want you to hear how she changes the harmony, the color, the mood, the texture, uh, while this persistent ostinato keeps going. Take a listen. New sound. This is a completely different mood. It goes on, and you'll get to hear it uh, in just a moment, performed by some of our wonderful LPO musicians. LPO musicians, I have to say thank you. Um, it's really incredible we, what we were able to do. We hadn't played together in four months. I think almost no one has played together in four months. And this past Sunday, July 12th, we got together and we had one rehearsal and one recording session, and they really prepared very well. And I want to thank you guys for bringing Florence's piece to life. You all need to know that this piece is specifically dedicated to the nurses, doctors, and staff at Lowell General. Thank you all. Um, these notes, or I should say this music from Florence says far more than I could ever say with words. Enjoy.
When you sign up to be an infectious disease physician, you always know in the back of your head that something like this could happen, but you never really expect it to happen until it does. Uh, and it really brings to the forefront how important our profession is, but how important working together with everyone else is. Um, I never wanted to be this important. Uh, I never wanted to uh, be at the forefront of anything. Um, but pressing times call for pressing action. Um, and so we really all had to step up and work together. And I feel proud that we've all done that. Our pandemic response was an incredibly powerful experience for the whole organization. When we came together in early and mid-March to provide care to our community, there were so many unknowns, but we came together with a common purpose to provide complete connected care to our patients and families, regardless of the challenges. And I could not be prouder of the response of our entire team, from our environmental service workers, our security team, facilities, the care teams at the bedside, Every single member of the hospital community came together with a common purpose to provide care to our patients and families. And the community support was incredibly overwhelming. We felt the support of the community every step of the way, and for that we are very grateful. Reflecting back on the care that we delivered during the height of the pandemic, we reflected upon the technology that we used to help communicate with our loved ones at home. Our patients in the hospital didn't have visitors in the traditional way, and so we were able to connect them through technology to make sure that their loved ones knew what was happening with their care and that they felt safe and still connected to the outside community. When the COVID-19 pandemic first began, my unit was selected to take the first patients that were suspected to have the virus. My coworkers and I felt both honored and scared at the same time because there were so many unknowns. On March 13th, we had our first positive case, and from that moment, everything changed rapidly as the numbers of the cases quickly rose. It was a lot of pressure, a lot of fast-changing protocols, and the days felt like marathons. This virus brought so many challenges. It was especially hard for me as a nurse, as we couldn't always be there for our patients in the way we wanted to be, and neither could their families. We saw the fears in their eyes as patients struggled to breathe. It was very emotional. I would often cry on my way home from work, and I still do when I reflect on these past few months. However, there were a lot of special moments too. Patients survived, and they were discharged. We lined the halls and cheered for them. Many of us felt too physically and mentally exhausted to cook or food shop after work, and the generous food donations from our community provided us with much needed meals. Seeing everyone step up during this pandemic has made me so proud to be a part of the Lowell General Hospital community. When COVID-19 began its surge, my role changed from being a therapist to being a helper in the ICU. I worked with some of the most hardworking and courageous nurses, doctors, and respiratory therapists to take care of some of the sickest patients I have ever seen. I was part of a proning team where we turned the patients onto their bellies in order to improve their lung function. I held the hands of patients as they passed away so they would not be alone in a time when their family was not able to be with them. I saw sadness, I witnessed miracles, and I worked alongside heroes. Hi, I'm Jackie Maloney, the Chancellor of UMass Lowell. First, I'd like to thank the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra for hosting this special tribute to honor Lowell General Hospital. I can't think of a more fitting way than to celebrate their work with your wonderful music. On behalf of the entire university community, I would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the nurses, doctors, staff, and administrators who worked around the clock tirelessly on the front line, keeping our community healthy and safer. Your dedication, perseverance, and expertise helped to save so many lives, and we are forever grateful to all of you. Today, we honor you. Hello, my name is Julia Harmon, past president and principal cellist of our orchestra. We would like to dedicate this next verse of America the Beautiful to our wonderful first responders. These men and women are the very definition of heroism. 
They are the first people on the scene, putting their lives on the line whenever there is an emergency. We thank these heroes for their selfless service in our community. Hi, this is Mayor John Leahy. Uh, I would like to thank the uh, Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra for having this tribute to the doctors, the nurses, the staff at Lowell General Hospital. Uh, we, like to, we would like to give out a big shout out, a big thank you to all the staff at the hospital, all the first responders, uh, without the nurses, the doctors, and the staff at the hospital at Lowell General, we couldn't have gotten uh, where we are today through this pandemic. Uh, I know that some of you have given up vacation time, some of you have given up retirement time, uh, certainly gave a lot of time away from your family. So from the bottom of my heart and the residents of Lowell, uh, we just want to shout out a big thank you. We appreciate the sacrifices that you have made for your community and there is no way uh, that we can ever repay you. But we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you and your work. Uh, we could never repay you for all the hard work and the dedication that you gave to your community. So again, thank you from the bottom of our heart, from everyone here in the city of Lowell. Hi, this is Mark Cochran, President and CEO of Jean d'Arc Credit Union. As a trustee of Circle Health and a friend of the hospital, I know how hard the doctors, nurses, and staff work at the hospital. I just want to say thank you for all that you do because you guys are the best. This past Sunday I contacted pianist Jacob Heiser uh, about the possibility of performing during this tribute. We know Jacob very well at the LPO. He was actually a featured soloist this past November in concertos by Gershwin and Brahms. And very quickly during our phone conversation, Jacob suggested that he perform the song Take My Hand, Precious Lord by Thomas A. Dorsey. Uh, Dorsey's credited with more than 400 blues and jazz songs, and he's known as the father of gospel music. It's pretty amazing. I was humbled to read that this composition was a favorite of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and that it was sung by Mahalia Jackson at his funeral. Also, please stay tuned. You might notice my hat. It's a Lowell Spitters hat. We have something fun for you, and uh, it will be introduced by Dave Heller, who's the CEO and owner of the Lowell Spitters. I, I promise it will be very fun. But first, please enjoy Jacob Heiser's beautiful rendition.
Hi, I'm Dave Heller, the owner of the Lowell Spinners, and there's no place I'd rather be than at a ball game. So it's only fitting that I get to dedicate this next song. Uh, this is going out to all of the brave men and women, our doctors, our nurses, our hospital staff and administrators, everybody at Lowell General Hospital, as well as our medical researchers, our scientists and our first responders. Thank you for all you do for our great community. This is Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Throughout the coronavirus crisis, while so many of us were asked to simply stay at home, we have depended on the courage and the sacrifice of those who could not. The frontline medical workers who selflessly confronted the virus head on every day, going above and beyond to help see our community through this perilous and uncertain time. On behalf of a grateful city, I join the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra in expressing our sincere gratitude to the nurses, doctors and staff of Lowell General Hospital for stepping up in heroic ways to keep our community safe during this pandemic. Greetings. I am Jeanette Clemens, Commander, Medical Corps, United States Navy, retired. I am both a board member and an oboist in the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra. The last verse of America the Beautiful is dedicated to our United States military units called to serve in this pandemic, performing various engineering, medical, and security tasks. We salute all those people in uniform who have answered a call for help from the community of Lowell, Massachusetts, bringing skills, expertise, and teamwork, as well as what we in the Navy call can do to assist. Military veterans are also a vibrant part of the greater Lowell area, including musicians, essential workers, first responders, and healthcare providers. Their sacrifices, both past and present, are appreciated. Please join us in a heartfelt thank you for your service as the Lowell Philharmonic presents the final verse of America the Beautiful. Fair winds and a following sea to all.
hello, I am a grateful resident of the city of Lowell, standing in front of Trinity Ambulance, the very place where people call when faced with a medical emergency. Since March of this year, the staff has been very, very busy directing their EMTs to transport people with the coronavirus to Lowell General Hospital. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our public service employees, our first responders, police, fire, EMTs, doctors, nurses, nurses' aides, hospital staff members, letter carriers, grocery store employees, bus and taxi drivers, union employees doing city contract work like building garages, sanitation workers and custodians, and anyone who risked their lives to save ours. Thank you so much for you are my hero. You are the ones that answer the call that when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thank you so much for your dedication to save lives. Before we reach the end of our tribute, I wanted to take a moment to thank you, our audience, on behalf of myself and the LPO, for taking the time out of your day to watch this tribute. We would have had our annual Summer Pops concert this past Sunday, but of course, all of us are currently unable to present and attend live concerts. In lieu of this, I decided to add an LPO favorite to this program, just so that our enthusiastic audience would be able to think back on the wonderful times together at Shed Park in Lowell. It wasn't quite clear how to make this happen with our socially distanced string ensemble. Thankfully, our production manager and trumpeter Mark Mudgett offered to craft an arrangement of a piece normally performed by a concert band. Thank you, Mark. It's been wonderful to work with you on this project. And now, please enjoy The Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. <laughs>
Hi, this is Jody White, President and CEO of Lowell General Hospital and Circle Health. I want to thank the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra for this wonderful event today and standing with us as we've battled this international pandemic called the COVID virus. Lowell General Hospital has served our community for over 130 years, and I can safely say that this has been our single biggest challenge. Yet with that as a backdrop, our staff has not wavered. Our staff has stood up each and every day on behalf of our mission, which is to put patients first in everything that we do and deliver on our promise of complete connected care. New roles, new shifts, new workflows for our staff, but each and every day staff asking, what can we do to make our patients better? How can we step up and help? Yet in the biggest fight of our lives during this pandemic. And just as our staff has stood with our patients each and every day, our community has stood with us. And I want to say thank you. The meals have been unbelievable. The cards, the signs standing outside the hospital, the waves to our staff as they come in and out of work each and every day, and the calls that I have received have warmed us, have encouraged us, and have spurred us on. So thank you to the Lowell Philharmonic Orchestra for this wonderful event tonight, another example of how our community has stood with us. It makes all the difference. You've made a big impact. And from the Lowell General Hospital, Circle Health, our board, our physicians, our trustees, and our whole community, a big thank you.